What do you do if you're going to be away from home for more than a week on vacation or work travel and have a house full of plants? Hi everyone! I'd like to start off by saying a very happy new year to all of you. I know we're already halfway through January, but my husband and I only just returned from visiting family and friends for Christmas and New Year's interstate. So I'm back with my first video of 2021 and I can't think of a better topic to cover than how to look after your plants while you're away traveling. This was the longest we've been away from home with the amount of plants that we have. Previously, we had a friend who would come over and help water our plants once a week, but we also had a smaller collection back then. So I wanted to think of a solution to self-water our plants while we are away for more than a week without having to trouble a friend or a neighbour. I'm happy to report that after more than three weeks away, we've returned to happy and healthy plants. It is slightly surprising because this is our first time trying out these self-watering techniques but they've proven to be successful which is a great way to start the new year. One of the self-watering techniques uses empty wine bottles so if you have these lying around you can reuse them or if you're a wine lover it's time to collect these bottles. Um, if you've seen my how to grow avocado video, I do collect gin bottles and some bubble tea containers as well so I'll leave a link down in my description box below if you'd like to check that out. The other technique that we use requires any container that can store quite a bit of water so pots are good um, mixing bowls or any buckets. So let's get right into it. The first technique uses terracotta watering stakes and I got these from Amazon. I was after plain and minimalistic terracotta ones, nothing fancy, but due to our travel dates approaching, the ones I could get delivered the soonest were in this owl design, which to be honest, I wasn't quite a fan of when I first saw them online, but that quickly changed when I opened the box. I'll leave a link to this product in my description box below and once you're on Amazon, they'll recommend you other types and designs that you may prefer if the longer delivery time isn't an issue for you. My order came packed very well so none of the stakes were damaged but I've read reviews on other brands where it wasn't the case. It's important that the product is packed well to ensure the terracotta isn't cracked or broken in transit. The owls turned out looking pretty cute, but what I like about this design the most is the spiral terracotta cone, and I'll show you why in the next couple of steps. You can reuse plastic or glass bottles from wine, soft drinks or salad dressings and sauces as long as the bottleneck fits the opening of the owl head that measures 4cm or 1.57 inches in diameter. This is why the spiral design is a winner. Plain terracotta sticks I found online have flat edges that can be trickier to insert into the soil. The spiral cone makes it much easier and less damaging to the roots. What's left is to tip the bottle of water in and your plant has started self-watering. You'll notice that the soil is already wet. My tip is to water your plants before starting this self-watering process as it ensures they are already well hydrated and will naturally start drinking water from the bottle only when needed. Terracotta is porous and will release water in a steady amount which helps prevent under or over watering. The size of the bottle used depends on a few factors. How long you'll be away, the size of your plant, the humidity levels in your home and the dryness of your soil, all of which contribute to how quickly your plant drinks, with every plant absorbing water at a different rate, which is why it's good to test this out a week or two before your trip. 
To monitor how quickly each plant drinks, you can measure the water levels and keep a record during the first week. We also use this for our outdoor plants, opting for a plastic bottle in this pot of variegated kumquat. And that's the first self-watering method done. Next is the water wicking system for smaller potted plants. You'll need cotton twine and I got a roll of this cord also from Amazon. Position your smaller plants around a large bucket or container that you can fill with water. I use a couple of my old cooking pots propped up higher on a box. In each plant, insert one end of the cord about 10 cm or 4 inches deep into the soil. Using a bamboo skewer here helps. Measure the length of the cord to reach the bottom of the container, then cut. It is important for the cord to sit at the bottom to wick the water completely. Repeat for all plants and when done, fill the pot with water. If done correctly, You'll notice the cord getting wet as water travels down the twine within a couple of minutes. And that's the second self-watering method for smaller plants. Fast forward to just over 3 weeks and this is what we came home to. Long story short, due to same day border closures interstate, we had to bring forward our trip and I was unable to prepare all our plants for self-watering. So a dear friend offered to water the rest of them on a weekly basis. She had to top up the bottles in the terracotta steak every one and a half weeks. So in the future, we would double the size of the bottles if we'll be away for longer. Overall, the plants fed better than expected on their first self-watering trial. The Monstera Deliciosa has an old leaf that has yellowed, but a new baby leaf is also unfurling, which is always a good sign. The Strelitzia Nicola is almost done with her second bottle of water over three weeks. So we'll use a wine bottle to extend the watering if we are going to be away for a longer period of time. The smaller plants were more of a worry as I had Calatheas in this group and we all know how temperamental they can be without consistent watering. It's such a huge relief coming home to them looking healthy and well. Our friend had to top up the water in the cooking pots once a week and we had about 5 plants per pot. So the next time we'll need a larger container for it to last more than a week. My main concern was this Calathea white fusion. It was attacked by spider mites just before we left, so you can see the leaves have lost its vibrance, but a good sign is there's new growth and it's been self-watering okay. It just needs some TLC after the trauma, and speaking of pests, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to share some of the challenges I face keeping up with my plants. Like this Alacasia poly that was struggling last winter, I thought it was a goner. It surprisingly bounced back with beautifully large leaves, and the younger ones have the silkiest texture to them in this striking deep green. 
My advice if you have sickly plants is to not give up until their root system is completely dead because you never know when it'll thrive again even if it takes some time. I'm also thrilled that my Calathea ornata has unfurled a new leaf while we were away. For the longest time, she was stressed from our move interstate and was another plant I was sure was destined for the bin. With patience and care, she's pushing out bigger and healthier leaves now, so I'll start snipping off the damaged ones this weekend. Lenny, if you're watching this, thank you so much for your help taking care of our plants. I hope you all found the self-watering tips helpful and put you at ease a little bit to go on your road trips, your staycations and holidays um, without worrying too much about the well-being of your plants. I know the idea of travel seems a bit foreign in today's climate, but you could also give this a go while you're at home. In fact, I recommend trying this out a week or two before actually going on your holiday. That's what we did to see how our plants take to the water. And if you've allocated a half an hour or an hour a week to watering your plants, this self-watering technique would free up your time to do something else. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish you the very best for 2021. Stay safe and take care. And as always, feel free to leave a comment with any questions you may have, like and subscribe for more creative content. I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you.